Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I am going to share all of the things that I feed Cinnabon. Now this actually is not going to be a how to feed a rabbit or like how much of everything to feed. This is going to be much more of a these are all of the items that I feed Cinnabon, the reasons why I feed them, the brands that we really like, and just all of that kind of stuff. Now I do want to say that what I am sharing today, this is not like the end all be all of a rabbit's diet. There are so many brands and companies out there that you can choose to feed. These are just what I do and hopefully if you're kind of stuck and looking for advice this could be helpful for you or at least a starting point but if you have been noticing certain diet problems with your rabbit please consult a vet before proceeding with like any new diet changes so let's get started with what I do in the mornings when we wake up and what I feed Cinnabon then let's start with hay the most important thing in a rabbit's diet 80% of your rabbit's diet should be hay so you really want to make sure you have that all the time with you so I have tried out quite a few different brands of hay just for a little backstory. I live in Washington DC and I live in an apartment. I'm not really close to a lot of farms so I have actually been using Oxbow hay. Now Oxbow hay is just kind of like the overarching like big brand of hay. It's available at pretty much every pet store that sells things for small animals so for us and for the convenience I have been using Oxbow. However I would like to be a little more cost efficient and buy hay in bigger amounts so if you have any hay companies that you just really have found shipped to a lot of different locations and you really like please comment down below but until then I am really happy actually with the oxbow hay I use the blend of the orchard grass and the timothy grass cinnabon is quite the princess and does not like just one type of hay she really likes having extra things in there different textures and I just find that that blend is really easy really convenient and it keeps her entertained now along with her hay I also always add a foraging mix to her hay this is our personal favorite one right now it is from bun mom makes and it is made with willow leaves I'm gonna pronounce this wrong calendula flowers corn flowers goji berries chamomile rose petals these are all Cinnabon's favorite things ever. So what I'll do is I'll sprinkle just a little bit of this forage blend into her hay. And again, as well as having the two different types of hay, she really likes having the different textures, a few different tastes. So it just encourages good hay habits for her. Other foraging mixes that we really like, I really like the Rosewood Naturals, like salad sampler kit. I can link it below. That's been really nice and I've used that. I've gotten some from the Well Kept Rabbit. We had a winter tonic. They have different ones for different seasons. That's really great. Small Pet Select has quite a few. I just have loved the ingredients in this. I like the simplicity of them and they all happen to be Cinnabon's favorite thing. So this has been our favorite recently. I can link them below as well. So her hay is made. Now it's time to make her morning salad, which I go definitely over the top because I am very extra and I really love making Cinnabon's morning salad. So this is exactly what I do for hers. So for Cinnabon's morning salad, I start with her bowl. This bowl is from Cattail Studios. It is so cute and you can personalize it completely to be just for you. And I'll usually add two to three different types of greens in there. I pretty much always add either romaine lettuce, red leaf lettuce, or green leaf lettuce, one of those three as her like lettuce base. They all are just really low in calcium, really low in oxalic acid. They're just really good and easy to digest. After her lettuce, I will add in some herbs and the herbs that I have, I put in this herb keeper. I just got this for Christmas and I am obsessed with it. So you fill this bottom part with water and then you just add your herbs in here. You can mix them all in and it keeps them fresh. I am obsessed. This has been such a game changer. My absolute favorite herbs to add in are dill and cilantro. Those two also are really low in oxalic acid, low in calcium, really healthy for her. And she happens to love them as well. Dill's her favorite of everything. So I have those in here. Right now I also have some basil, some mint, some thyme, just all sorts of goodies in here. And I will add that to her salad. So after her greens, I will usually sprinkle on some dried willow. So this dried willow I actually got in our Boop Box subscription box, which I am so obsessed with. So what it is is you sign up and you get a box every month delivered and it has all of these bunny items in it. What makes them unique is all of the items inside their box are from small businesses. So specifically from small bunny businesses. I got this dried willow in there and a few other things in this video that I'll actually be showing. If you're kind of looking for a fun way to introduce new things to your bunny's diet and just to switch up their toys, I really suggest doing something like this. It's more economical than just buying a ton of different things. You can kind of get lots of different things sampled to you and you can feel good about what you're buying because they're all from small businesses. So I will link their website down below if you're interested. Again, this came in the January box and I was just so thrilled because I 
love dried willow. I love adding it, Cinnabon loves it, and it's just a nice little extra crunch. So I will sprinkle that onto her salad, and the last thing I add is one digestive biscuit. These digestive biscuits, they are from Oxbow as well, and I just give her one a day. It just aids with like that gut health and keeping everything moving. It's a nice little healthy treat for her. Makes me feel good, she likes it, it's a win-win. So the last part of Cinnabon's morning food routine is her pellets. Now I give her the Oxbow Garden pellets. Those are the ones that I have here. I really like these just because it's a more simplistic ingredient list. I found that she really likes them and I just feel better about what's going into her tummy. I do not feed her a lot. I feed her anywhere from an eighth to a quarter cup a day. Pellets are only supposed to make up about 10% of their diet, so this is more of a supplementary thing, but she loves getting them. And I always feed these to her on her Toki foraging mat. It's just such a fun way to encourage her to forage. Bunnies are natural foragers, so they like to hunt for their food, like dig around and search. So this has all sorts of little places where you can hide the pellets. It's a fun way for her to engage with her food instead of me just putting it in a bowl and being done with it. Okay, so that is her breakfast, but her breakfast is really where the main bulk of her diet is going. In the evenings around 6 p.m., I will replenish her hay again with our Oxbow hay that we use, and I will give her the other part of her pellets. I break her daily feedings up into two parts, so I give her one in the morning, one in the evening, and that's about it for at nighttime. Now let's get into the fun stuff, which are treats and edible toys and edible chews. So I always spoil Cinnabon in some way throughout the day. I try not to give her a treat every day because that's just not good for her. And as much as I want to, it may not be the best thing for me to do. But when I do spoil her with treats, I am always spoiling her with mostly the same brands all the time, which would be Fluffy Bun Confections, Coffee's Garden, and Bow Bunny's Buffet. Now these treats actually also came in our boot box this month, which is awesome. They're one of our favorites. You guys probably saw these in our Cinnabon Chooses Our Festive Day video. So these rock, came in our box, love them so much, have been good friends of ours since we started on here. In Coffee's Garden, they're the place to go if you're looking for oat-free treats. And then Fluffy Bun Confections, they are just an OG for us. We are obsessed with their macaroons. Specifically, I like to give her the cranberry and blueberry macaroons just because both of these berries are really high in antioxidants. And if she's gonna eat a treat, I might as well feed her something that isn't horrible for her. So yes, I don't give her a treat every day, but when I do, 99% of the time, it's one of these three companies. I will have them all linked below. And I also have discount codes for Fluffy Bun Confections and Coffee's Garden. So you can get a little bit of a discount there as well. Hi. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about are just some edible toys. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, hello. Want to help? Are you helping? So along with just like the normal types of chew toys out there, oh, hello Cinnabon. Um, there are also toys that can be hay-based or infused with fruit or just some kind of things that they actually ingest. Every once in a while, kind of like her treats, I don't give these to her every single day, but if I know I'm gonna be gone for a long time and I wanna reward her with a special toy, I have a few like edible toys that I'll give her. So I have these infused balsa wood blocks, which are just balsa wood that are infused with fruit. These are apple, banana, blueberry, raspberry, and strawberry. Again, and these came in our boot box this month. It's just awesome that we were able to get something so neat and just use pretty much everything in our box every single day. So again, these came in the box this month. We are obsessed, love them so much. You can see little Cinnabon popping her little head up for them. And also there are Timothy Hay Chews. So this used to be a bowl. Um, it's not anymore, it's more of a um, structure rock at this point, but its main ingredient here is hay. So there's a few other things going on, which is why I want to feed it every single day, but it's a nice little treat for her to chew on. It's really hard, so it's good for their teeth that are always growing, so it's something for her to gnaw on. I have this bowl, there's lollipops you can buy, there are these little like apple chews, there are dumbbells, there's all sorts of stuff. I'll have a ton linked below. I always just like stock up on having these if I notice that Cinnabon is just in a really chewy mood and is just chewing on everything she can get her teeth on. This is usually a good way to subside that. Don't feed these every single day. They're kind of like a treat toy, but they're really good to have on hand and just a nice reward for your bun. Okay, that is it. That is every single thing that I feed Cinnabon for the most part. If this is your first video of ours that you're seeing, please feel free to subscribe if you like this content and never want to miss an episode. And if you like these tips, give us a big thumbs up because it really helps out our channel. So from Cinnabon and I, we hope that you have a wonderful week and we will see you next Sunday. Bye buns.